and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero on Praggers Gaming. I'm Gamer Praggers. In the last episode, we finally managed to track down that other alien signal, and we've now got a new one, which is down there. Now, we can't get there. At least I don't believe so. Reasons. In fact, fragment glow whale. Um, so yeah, we're there, and it's down there somewhere. So we could. Yeah. So. Oh yes, that's the other thing we needed to do. is uh, we got a couple of uh, data bank entries one of which was this Aurora so uh, contact has been lost with the Aurora some 18 months into his journey to install a phase gate in the Ariadne arm report inside sources Altera launched the Aurora to much fanfare almost two years ago and recently announced that the ship had arrived in the destination solar system the Aurora has reportedly now missed more than one routine check-in asked for comment a spokesperson for Altera said communication with ships outside of the phase gate network can take weeks or months in ordinary circumstances yeah I remember reading that now so basically the Aurora is the ship from the first game that explodes that we are on, that we were on and we've got this new data bank entry, which is the oral wreckage located, survivors confirmed, which is the player character from the last game. Alta uh, Altera has released voice recordings which confirm survivors of the Aurora crash. The transmission came from trade ship Sunbeam, which was passing nearby when it detected their SOS. Hey Altera, we've got one of your birds in the soup over here. Looks like they took survivors. We're moving in for a closer look. Ah. While the number of survivors is not yet known, nor the tr true state of the ship is now known that, that that she has landed with her hull largely intact on planet 4546b. Smaller than Earth and largely waterbound, it is throughout the planet. It is thought the planet has a breathable atmosphere and hopes that have been raised all around. The Sunbeam is registered as a five-seater cargo vessel, insufficient to evacuate the crew or cargo of the Aurora, but perhaps enough to assess the situation and reassure shareholders at home that their investment is secure. There is at least one month delay on transmissions from the region of space. In the meantime, Altera is working on every possible solution, including an innovative idea to transmit the blueprints for a purpose-built rocket which could be constructed using materials salvaged from the Aurora and the planet itself. If the crew could begin their long journey home, now the rescue teams could meet them halfway, shaving months off their return. Altera share prices rose to their quarterly high on the news. On yeah, was unexplained ion signature linked to the Aurora's disappearance? An unusual ion signature on the edge of Altera space has scientists baffled, and some have drawn a connection with a similar echo detected around the time of the Aurora's reported crash landing. How the two might be connected is an unopened question, and many in the scientific community maintain that they are unrelated and explained by natural phenomena, or even Altera secretly testing new technologies. Fuel has been added to the fire by Altera's refusal to release its full data on the Aurora incident, and recent indications from, so so from sources that they will be revising up their list of expected casualties without revealing where this information has come from. It's now been months since the Sunbeam went quiet with no new information. The salvage teams continue their long journey to 4546. So yes, <clears throat> and we will play that in a second. So yes, so the sunbeam is what um, was coming to pick us up when it was shot down by the alien defences because the quarantine was still in place. Oh, hey, Parvin, can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, the alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. Pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. The scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners. Even your little sea trucks. I 
wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. Okay. So. So this is what we're looking for. Um, but before that, we need food and water. The rock grub. Uh, yes. So let me just. I uh, can't. There's no room. So we'll stick it in here. Stick that in there. Stick those in there as well. Uh, do have a water. We've got two fish, so we'll just cook those up. Intake. We need some more fish, so I'll get those and I'll bring you back. Welcome aboard, Captain. back from our fishing expedition and we have plenty of water now so we're just gonna stick this all in here um, I'm gonna stick him in there I don't really know what I can do with that um, but yes so we need to go exploring still 500 meters away so I think what I might do is enter the sea truck head back up Of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. Right. You must continue to investigate. Okay. Let's go to it. So 
we are 300 meters away. So I think what I might do is whip out this. Oh, new biome. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. We're in a new area, I can tell, because... Scan that. Now. Young Cotton and Enemy. Corpse. Right. So it's down. What we'd really like to find down here. Magnetite. Wow, those are huge. <laughs> eggs for use in advanced fabrication. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. That's not good. Uh oh. Oxygen. That was close. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah. Right, we want to avoid him.
now. This isn't good, I've lost my way. There we go. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I should be alright. But we do have a problem. Because I cannot see where I need to go down there. Do you know what I haven't got either? Beacon. Well, that's not good. Right. button okay so I want to create a beacon because we could it'd be handy to have that beacon down there to know. 
know what we do and don't have. Um, okay, so what have we got? Quartz to make glass. Oh, flowering spore ribbon plants to make benzene. Aha, hydrochloric acid, okay. Spiral plant clipping. So we don't have that. for a spine fish so okay yes the other thing is we've got this uranite Those. Okay. Grant cotton an enemy. Collect eggs for use in advanced fabrication. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. That's the um, flowering spore. Okay. Young cotton an enemy. Used in advanced construction. Data uranite, nuclear power, but we haven't got that yet. I've got a bioreactor, but I don't have enough. Okay, yes, so right, okay, so. Cook that spine fish because we need we're low on food. Okay, get a feather fish as well, and I think that's where we're going to call it with an unsuccessful exploration. Which is a shame. Beacon, copper ore, and titanium. Is that copper or gold? Gold. That's bio. Okay. environment head mounted light source. Cured triops, cured feather fish, okay. Right, so now we've got that, we can go and put that down, and I think that's uh, what we'll do next episode. Because um, the other thing we need to do is change some batteries. right but that will be next time so i will leave you looking at this view not that there is much um thanks for hanging out um don't forget to like and subscribe tick the bell if you want to see more um join the discord there's a link in the description don't forget to leave a comment below if you want to just give us any tips um tell me where I'm going wrong because I probably am and I'll catch you in the next episode peace